This event is some of the work that I've done in the past year. Most of my career, I've specialized like in night photography. I do a lot of like street photography, documentary photography, but this is basically all night work that I've done like in the last 12 months. I feel that at night things uh, change, you know, like you go to a stadium or something like that and you know, the thing had 40,000 people and then at night it's like another, another life, you know, but it still breathes and that vacuity that I see, I'm really attracted to that. I try to have like the depth and, and the uh, characteristics of film. So that's why I use the camera that I use, the uh, Leica and Monochrome, which instead of having a color filter, has a, just a black and white filter. So it doesn't have to worry about color and it really renders incredibly sharp images as uh, if you were shooting film. I like to show people what I do and have share what I see, you know, kind of like if you go see a movie and you call your friend, hey, you know, you gotta check out this movie, it's outstanding, or the song, kind of like when I see something, I take a picture of it, I want people to look what I saw that I find beautiful. And it might be things that are not beautiful, like, oh, these pictures, you know, an empty building or, you know, vacated house or something like that, how can that, but I find certain beauty in, in those things. This one, I was actually leaving New York and I was gonna get on a train and I saw that. And sometimes I see these shots and I'm like, nobody's ever seen this? When I first moved to New York in the 80s, my first semester I, I shot City Hall and I took it to a professor at Tisch, Tom Drysdale, who's always lived in New York. And he goes, where is that? When somebody tells me where is that and it's the town that they live in, then I've shown you something you haven't seen. <laughs>